what it is. I'm Al Houston, here to interview Buster Bush for the Wilkes Community College Oral History Project. What is your full name, Buster? My full name is Arthur Milton Bush, but everybody calls me Buster. If you say Arthur, or you don't, they don't yeah. know who you're talking about. Yeah. You won't even, don't even know they're talking to you, do you? Right. <laughs> but I go as AM. AM. I've always known you as Buster, never. I knew you finally learned your initials just the other day. Uh, Buster, uh, Buster's what I go as, uh -huh. except in the, among the state recreators, I'm a am ambush. Ambush. <laughs> I always got a, 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 a come up with some kind of a name out of your name, won't you? All right. I bet when you were a kid going to school, you kind of got some teasing too, didn't you? No, I didn't get. Didn't you? Uh -huh. you started later on. Anyway, uh, uh, where were you born? I was born in Norfolk, we on D Street. Uh, when when were you born? I was born in June 22nd, 1921. 1921. And uh, who were your parents? Uh, uh, David uh, Taylor Bush, Sr. and Zeta Bush, Zeta Bumgarner Bush. Uh, do you remember your grandparents? Oh, yeah. yeah. Who were John, John and Olive Bumgarner. They lived right above the hospital. There was some houses there on the right. Yeah. And uh, who was your father's parents? His father, uh, my grandfather on my daddy's side was Milton Bush from Lenore. Mm -hmm. He had 17 children. He did? Yeah. And uh, how many children did your father have? He had even a dozen. They come cheaper dozen. by a dozen. <laughs> cheaper by a dozen. And, uh, do you do you know who your great grandparents were? Uh, well, what, one of them was a Hamby. Uh -huh. Now, uh, and, do you, and, uh, did you know if your great grandparents had big families too? Yeah, they've been big families all down too. Uh -huh. Even I had a sister that had nine. Yeah. Well, did you keep the family tradition going? No, I don't have any. I you have one stepdaughter. You went to the other extreme then, didn't right. you? Uh, who did you marry? First time I married Louise Speaks from West Jefferson. Mm -hmm. and my second marriage was my present wife was, was Colleen uh, Triplett from Mayho, North Carolina, mm -hmm. off the parkway. Uh, what does your wife do? She's a uh, principal of C.C. Wright Elementary School. And she's been in education, I guess, since when? Since you married her? Well, Ever since we've been married, twenty some years. Yeah. Uh, where did you go to school? I went to school in Norwooksburg Elementary, Norwooksburg High School on D Street. In the old buildings that are still there. They're still there. And the only building they got in the school system that don't leak. It is. <laughs> now, why do you reckon that is? Built by when construction work well, was it, done it, well. It's a hip roof, and water can't gather on uh -huh. it. It all runs off. These flat roofs just don't get it much, do they? No, that's right. Yeah. They had more. My wife swept water Sunday from 12 o'clock till 4 o'clock. Yeah, they had trouble with the college and everywhere I've heard about it. They've had trouble with the water. And uh, you got all your schooling, elementary and high school there in North Wilkesboro. Right. right. The old buildings are still standing. Right. Uh, did you go to college beyond high school? No, I've taken, I took the state exam for professional recreators and I passed it but mm -hmm. I've taken a lot of many courses and went to a lot of seminars and all. A lot of training to be in recreation and to be recreational. Right. In other words, um, but I passed the test the first time I ever took it and I was taking it with people who taking it three or four times. Yeah. Uh, did you uh, work anywhere uh, other than recreation before you went to work as a recreation director? I was in the grocery business. You were? Right. Where did you have a grocery business? Well, I worked for Mr. Ball on the corner of uh, 5th and Main Street. And that, and then I worked for Winn Dixie. I worked for Winn Dixie first down on mm -hmm. where Northwestern Bank uh, building is now. Mm -hmm. Then I went with Mr. Ball. Then I went with the Thomasons. I stayed there in 1957 and I got into recreation. Uh, what prompted you to get into recreation? 
Well, I worked with kids all my life. I was still a scoutmaster. Oh, yeah. And I was, I was with Isaac Duncan, who was scoutmaster. Mm -hmm. And I, I just worked with them. And I mentioned it to Dr. Newton one day. Uh, I just wished I had time to spend with people where I could work all the time. Mm -hmm. Next thing I know, he was working on it. And to start with the three churches. Baptist, Methodist, and Presbyterian, and the town together paid my salary. Mm -hmm. and it was a, a joint venture between the, the churches and, and the town. Mm -hmm. That's that not January 3rd, 1957. Mm -hmm. Did you have any recreation facilities when you started? Well, we had uh, what's now the Oculus Park. We had a tennis court down there, and we had. Uh, Four picnic tables in an old cinder block building and horseshoe pits and a tetherball down at Smoot Park. Mm -hmm. Had these been uh, built, furnished by the town, or had the churches done that? Well, that was during the. See, the Recreation Department actually started, uh, I mean, the Recreation Commission actually started before the town ever, and the churches went together. Oh, yeah. They had. Uh, they hired uh, Coach Hoffman worked in the summer for them, and they had a summer program down at Smoot and up there behind the church, and that's all we had. And, and Walter McSwain was serving on that commission then, and he's still on our present commission. He's been on about 33 years, and he's, he's still vice chairman of our commission. How many members were on the commission? Now, to start with, there was about 10, 11. There was uh, Neil Dalrymple, Ray Gardner, Lot Mayberry, Walter McSwain, L.M. Nelson, Dr. W.K. Newton, who was chairman until the time he started until he died, C.A. Shaw, better known as Connor, and Link Spanauer. Boyd Stout, Stout, and Rex Handy. Are any of those members still serving on the Recreation Commission? Uh, Walter McSwain is. And, uh, of course, Dr. Newton passed away, and Boyd Stout passed away. And our present commission is made up of Tom Ogburn, he's chairman, Walter McSwain, vice chairman. Herman Providence Secretary, uh, uh, Floyd Barber, uh, Charles Reginald, Darce Potter, A.M. Ants Church. There's seven of us now. Mm -hmm. uh, when the, the town and churches went together, uh, did you start making plans for enlarged facilities then and more activities? or What was their goal at the time? Well, at the time we went right to work organizing Saturday morning uh, ball leagues, which uh, the athletic director at the University of North Carolina, who John Swafford was in this, he was one of them. Uh, we're proud of that come out of our program. Then we went to at Smoot Park. We had solicited donations, and if somebody would give us three hundred dollars. We'd finish up a, a picnic shelter and pour the footing for another. And if somebody else gave us three hundred more dollars, we'd finish that one and pour the footprints for another, and then we'd put their names on them in a, pl a bronze plaque and put them on the side of which are still there. Mm -hmm. and we have uh, we have twelve of these. Mm -hmm. uh, was Smoot Park uh, in part of the recreation 
facilities when you started? Was it already there? Yes, sir. The International Shoe Company leased it to the town for 99 years after the 40 flood. Oh, yeah. And the, the town's got it under lease. Uh, so is it still a lease or is it, have they ever bought it? No, they've never bought it. It's, it's still leased. It, uh, well, they actually give it to the town for a dollar. Uh -huh. they, they, they just give it to them for a dollar, just mm -hmm. a formality, you know. Yeah. They go now, as, uh, as time's gone on in the, with the Recreation Department, uh, I guess you've had a lot of changes and improvements and increased programs and activities. What, what kind of things have gone on since you've... Uh, well, since 1957, our budget's gone from about $9,000 a year to right at 200000 four full-time employees and one part-time year-round and about 30 or 40 summer employees. Mm -hmm. And we've got a swimming pool and uh, we've since then acquired Woodlawn Community Center which has a gymnasium and outdoor basketball court and a $30,000 piece of playground equipment up there mm -hmm. which was donated by Hardy's systems. And at Smoot we also have another piece of the same equipment which is donated by Burger King. So we couldn't have done this without a lot of people like that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, of course we've got Highland Park which was a government grant. Of course we started to build Second Street but it didn't go through and we in the process of selling it. Putting the money into another project, you know, which will be the American Legion ball field over the OBF Denver Park. Now, Memorial Park was that has that always been uh, part of the recreation facilities of North Wilkesboro, or was that more or less for the Wilkes Central School to play ball? What was it used for? Well, Memorial Park was built to start with for a semi-pro baseball team by Perry Lowe and Tal Pearson and uh, a group of businessmen. We had what you call the flashers. And we still have a few of the old ball players here, Worth Cubs and or they call him Cubby, everybody knows him Cubby. Bill Hamlin up at the post office. They had quite a team. They did. Then when they folded, uh, they did uh, they did this land to the town. The town was in on building it help build the lights so it, everything went to the town and they finished. Mm -hmm. Had a, they called it the old fairgrounds, what they called it. It is. Yeah. It was used everything from horse shows to to carnivals and circuses. Mm -hmm. There used to be a big armory sitting out front uh, on the street and it washed away in the 40 flood mm -hmm. and took the bridge with it down to the lower end of town. Mm -hmm. It was about building was about 300 feet long so you'd imagine with all that water behind it what happened they took it down they took that bridge it took it with it yeah. there just wasn't any going around it was no, sir and uh, what kind of uh, programs do you have for young people and uh, even any people during the summers what kind of program uh, activities do you have well we uh, in the winter time, we have uh, we have a game room up at Woodlawn, which has an air hockey table, and we got two ping pong tables, and we got a pool table. We have a new uh, TV set donated by Lowe's Charities. And we have a gym which we open up uh, at, for the people, the youngsters in the afternoon and the men at night. Mm -hmm. Then we. We work with the handicapped, 